and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna do a kind of website slash product review. Um, and this is uh, the website called Cherise. Okay, so um, I first heard of Cherise back when I was in for the Style Asia Con thing. So yeah, they kind of uh, I signed up and then uh, I was able to just, like, try out some of their products and I've accumulated some products here and today I'm just gonna do a uh, review type of video to go through some of the products that I've tried because most of these brands um, they are not very like well known and they are quite like can say new in the market so uh, yeah let's just jump into the review the first brand I'll be talking about the Clavu Red Pulsation UV Protection City Divensa SPF 50 PH Plus so the product is basically um, this is a sunscreen with a very long name and it contains 50 ml of product and yeah I haven't heard of this brand Clavu before I went on to Cherise so it's kind of a new brand to me and for the um, texture of this, um, this sunscreen it's actually pretty oily like you can say that if you're someone with really oily skin you're not gonna enjoy this but if you're someone with very dry skin, you will probably like this a lot. Or do I have like kind of combination skin? I still really like this product because I am like very obsessed with like oil. Any product that is infused with oil, I tend to like it more because it's very hydrating. And it kind of leaves like a sticky feeling. So if you don't like powder it down or if you don't uh, put makeup on top of it, if you go out, it's probably gonna like uh, drop off your face really quickly. So that's something to note. But yeah, overall, I think this will be really great for girls with like dry skin. You can put this underneath your makeup, and it will also help to hydrate your skin. Talk about another product from Clavu, and this one is the White Procession. All that things are like White Procession. It's basically pearl infused, I think. So this one is the White Procession Special Divine Pearl Serum. Okay, so basically it's a pearl serum. Lah. It's a serum infused with pearl. So uh, from what I know about pearl, pearls are good for like anti-aging, for your skin to be like uh, more like clearer, like brighter, that kind of thing. So I kind of, I picked this up and this one is basically, it comes with a pump and what the serum looks like, it's kind of like shiny in a way. So I like to use it underneath my makeup as well. Like because it gives like a very mild kind of sheen and it smells really nice but I think it's it's nice when you put it on your face but you cannot see results immediately um, I don't really see a lot of anti-aging results or do I see a lot of like brightening, clearing up of my skin results but I'm still trying it out and I think it's a, mm, another product from Clevu and this one is the um, and this one is their pearl, white pearl station, Enriched Divine Pearl Cream. So just now that one, it was a serum, and then afterwards I have the cream. Okay, so out of these two, I definitely prefer the cream a lot more, because for the cream, right, I can actually see a difference in the skin. Like, I like to use this at night as compared to the day, because in the daytime, I like to use oils more, because I think it, it goes on with makeup better as compared to cream product. Personal preference. But yeah, this um, it's a very thick kind of cream. It comes in a safety seal. It's a very thick, quite thick cream that like you can kind of feel is sitting on your skin. So the reason why I prefer this over like the serum itself, right, is because I think this one actually works. Um, like I can see a more obvious result with it. How I like it is because I like this this at night, and when I wash it off in the morning, right, I can feel like the face is very like uh swollen and very plump with like a lot of moisture so like it feels really like nice because this thing doesn't like um happen immediately so i will not recommend it for like dry girls who want to use this and like uh, think that it can give out uh, immediate moisture because this is a rather thick cream it doesn't have any like watery or oil kind of feel or touch to it it's a very special kind of consistency which makes it very I don't know, maybe it's the pearl inside it or something like that. So yeah, I really like this for using at night. So I got like two bottles of this because it's that good. It's, it's for all skin types. Before I um, talk about another brand, I'm just gonna like randomly like talk about this beauty blender sponge kind of thing. This thing was given to them, me, from them. 
It's actually sent as this beauty box and then it came with this like sponge which I thought I'm just gonna give a very quick shout out. You can find this on their website. I don't know what brand is this but they only have one sponge and it comes in a few colours. But mine is this beige one over here and I think this sponge is really like great to use. I think it's kind of comparable to the um, Real Techniques sponge which is saying something. It When it soaks up with water, it's really really soft. But it kind of takes away a bit of coverage. So if you're looking for something which is more of like a, like a sheer coverage and glowy finish to your foundation, you can definitely try this watch. Okay? So the next product will be the Glen Skin um, Papaya and Grapefruit Instant Brightening Cream. So I've actually done this review on my um, blog and I, yeah, I quite like this cream. It is a brightening cream which is, you know, those which, you know, put on your skin and then your skin gets brighter instantly that that sort of cream it um i guess i have always not like wanted to try products like this because i always found it very gimmicky in the way that like it gives you instant brightening which is it kind of makes me feel like um my face will not match my neck and then it'll be weird ah. so i never ever picked it up like to try before but this was sent to me and I tried it out. I feel like this product was able to help me cancel out the dullness that was always, always bothering me. Like, like you can see on my hand, I don't think you can see the difference, but this side, I actually put on the cream as compared to this side. I feel like this product wasn't heavy on the skin. I usually use this after I put my um, sunscreen. So I'll put on my moisturizer, sunscreen, I'll put on this and then I'll go in with my primer and then the rest of my makeup. This is just to brighten out the overall skin tone and make myself look so, not so like yellowish dull color. So I think overall I really have been using this every day and I think I'm really halfway through. Which is really I only have around two more products to talk about and this one is the... I have no idea how to read this. El Baroche Cosmetics Miracle Sleeping Pack 2. Multi V vital tan system so i don't know and then on the bottom it says the name so basically a sleeping pack i just got this um and i've been trying it out every single night uh what i like about this and what i don't like about this is that um, let's start with the positive what i like about this is that uh it does moisture my skin when i woke up in the morning my skin feels nice it feels soft Kind of like how the Laneige will work, mm, but this is like the Laneige yogurt pack. If any of you tried that before, they actually have this in a blue one. That one, my friend says, is kind of like the Laneige what, um, sleeping pack, and this one is kind of like the Laneige, Laneige yogurt pack, which you have to wash off. But this is a sleeping pack, so I guess I do not have to wash this off. Um, the negative, the like thing I don't like about it is that it's very sticky. And it's kind of like really heavy, you can feel it on your skin. But I think it still serves its function. It's quite hydrating when you wake up in the morning and it's just a bit uh, mad to put it on every night. Knowing that it's going to be kind of uncomfortable until I fall asleep. But I think for, for someone who like always put a lot of skincare on my skin before I sleep, I think for me to say that this is kind of uncomfortable is something. But... I still will put it on because it shows results in the morning. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for, for very like dry. If you're really dry, maybe you want to try the blue one. Um, but this one's also an interesting one. Uh. I'm on to the final product. This is the Hand Skin Bio Origin Royal M Pro BBX. Yeah, so luxurious for a BB cream. It looks like a uh, skincare kind of packaging but it's a BB cream. So this colour of the BB cream actually runs quite um woo, runs quite pink. Uh it has like it comes in one shape and I guess I can kind of pull it off after I put on a lot of bronzer and after setting my face with a darker colour powder I kind of can pull this off. It's kind of pink you can see it on my hand it's quite pink. Yeah it's quite pink those out there who are dry. If you are dry or like you love a dewy finish, you're gonna love this. This is supposedly supposed to be like skincare infused, I guess. And yeah, I can see it being very skincare goodness and 
also like giving a very nice deal to the skin and the coverage is actually not bad like I tried this on with a uh, um, those Korean type of sponge in your like BB cushions. Yeah, I like to use the kind of sponge and that will actually help you build up the coverage and I think this is actually not bad when like covering up my like those dark imperfection stuff. I actually need to go in for around 1.5 layers. 1.5 layers, yeah. Begin one and a half pump, yeah, to cover up the entire like um, flaws and all that kind of things on my face so I think it's actually not too bad if you have like pretty good skin with a bit of this coloration I think you're gonna like this because it has a like salmon kind of base which is gonna cancel out of any like downness and that kind of jazz so you're gonna like this yeah. if you guys enjoy watching this video please remember to subscribe if you haven't and give it a thumbs up I'll try to upload more videos um, in time and of course you can leave your suggestions of what videos you'd like to see and down in the comments below. So I'll see you again in my next video, okay? Bye bye! <laughs> oh my god, you're so gross. Dude. You only can see the behind the scenes when you're Oh my god, what kind of person am I subscribing to? <laughs> Disgusting, <laughs> Sarkis, stop. Hey, you like. Hyena, Sarkis, stop it.